Hello and welcome to In Which We Play Metal Gear Solid. In Which We Play Metal Gear Solid. We are currently on disc two. That's right. Of Metal Gear Solid. We're How starting in the blast furnace. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Yeah, ooh. Yeah, you want blast processing, you'll find it here. Yeah, you will. So, uh, how many CDs are there for there, this game? Just two. Just two? Okay, yeah. just that's good enough. Yep. And two is all you need for this game. <laughs> This I I think this game is the perfect length for what it is, and any more probably be too much. I mean, most of the game is probably filled up by video files anyway. Oh yeah. What what what, what video files? I mean, I know you got the chat parts, but well, there's there's those long ass cutscenes. Oh, those are video files. That's right. Yeah. Oh right, Ooh. I got. You gotta push the thingy. Whoa. Wait. Oh, oh, whoops. I, I stopped pressing against the wall. My mistake. God damn it. Oh, whoops. The game <sighs> is over. Let's fix that. It's got right. sneaky. Uh, oh, Hotline Miami. I just uh, yeah. got past the first part of the game, I guess. I got past f chapter 15. That game is a bitch when sneaking. Oh my yeah. god. Have you ever I, played that game? No, I have not yet, but... um. I actually saw you playing it on Steam earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was playing it. Yeah, I, I got... I was hooked on that game. Yeah. Okay. We gotta avoid that guy seeing me. That game is a bitch, though. Yeah, I think I said... Because it's... uh, <clears throat> The main game is awesome. Yeah. You know, you go in and you run and gun. But then you get in the sneaky part, and it's just like... It's a pain in the ass more than it is fun. Okay. That and the boss fights. That's the only problem with Hot My Miami. Well, people may disagree with me. I don't like the boss fights, and I don't like the sneaking. Well, okay. It's not good. It's your opinion, man. It's just, it's just like my opinion. Yeah. You know, they're wearing hazmat suits. Why aren't you wearing a hazmat suit? I don't... Are they wearing hazmat suits? Yeah, they got the orange jumpsuit and everything. Oh. Huh. Didn't think about that. Okay, that guy's out. That's an interesting way to have to show the game. From the top down? Yeah. That's the only way you have to, to show scenery and stuff. Yep. And it... I don't know. It it could be way better if it wasn't just top down, honestly. Um, I mean, yeah. I think it worked well for the way they designed it, but it works so much better in future games. I don't know why they just didn't make um, Metal Gear Solid V first, and then, you know... Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Obvious. I mean, Ground Zeroes is such a good game. Why didn't they just make it like that? <laughs> oh, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> okay, um, how about we just go back down? It's got the three levels, huh? What? Three levels. Oh. There you go. Oh, yeah, there is three levels. The Elevatron. Can you jump over the ramp and, uh, uh do that? I, do I don't thing? know if I can. Um, no, I don't think Damn I it. can. I could knock on nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the sound it would make. It's. Wait, does it actually does it make the noise or does it? No. Oh, that's that's nice programming right there. Oh, <sighs> oh how I, the irony. <clears throat> okay, I'm not gonna go for that ration next time. Yeah, fuck that shit, bro. I'm just gonna avoid that. What are we, uh, we're in the, the, what's it called again? The, the Blast Furnace. The blast Furnace. What is the purpose of the Blast Furnace other than to be the Blast Furnace? Well, you know, it keeps the place warm. I guess that's pretty nice. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, no, it, uh, doesn't it fuel the blast processing? Oh, yeah, it must. <laughs> I mean, that's my only thought. Yeah. What else would it do? Damn. I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. Exactly. Now, see, um. There it is. There's the. The, the the arm yeah this room actually come in, comes into play later um that seems to how be this seems to be how this game's going it's like okay now walk back uh the rest of the level <laughs> yeah there there is quite a bit of backtracking i'll admit that it's i mean they had to do they had to make do with what they got it's a ps1 game they only have so much world space. 
Yeah, yeah, there's so much memory to, to put it on. I mean, it's essentially just an, uh, <laughs> they have the, as much data as a song, as a as a jumble of songs has yeah. on that disc. Yep. Uh, is, is the guy I killed? Oh, no, he's still alive. Walking up the stairs, don't know how I didn't see Snake up there, but whatever. Yeah, whatever. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, after playing Hotline Miami, I'm just glad the enemies, how they are, how are they are in, like, say, in this game. Because in Hotline Miami, they see you from everywhere. Yeah? It's like, oh, you're way far to the left of me? I see you. Okay, you want, you want exposition, you want explanation, you're gonna get it here in this scene. Oh, it's one of those angular elevators that leads down into the cool catacombs, and you leave through an explosion. Yeah. Uh, did you did you ever play the first Half Life? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, do you remember the part of the game that took place on one of those things, one of those elevators, and all the head crabs just kept coming down after you had to keep shooting them? Um, probably. It's been a while since I played the game. I haven't right. played it since I think it came out. Okay. So. <laughs> well, this scene is nothing like that. Oh. Yeah. Um, how, how do I... How do you do stuff, maybe? I don't remember. Oh. Oh, did you just have to walk to the end of it? No? Okay. Um... That's video game logic. That's how it works. Okay, uh... Oh, you... Oh, yeah. oh, oh there we go. There I just had go. to hit circle button in the right place. Okay. So now I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a codec call here. There, oh, cutscene first. Oh, okay, people do come down after Whoa. me. I was wrong. Uh, All right, let's get rid of these guys. Watch out! They're flashing. They're they're flashing their lights at you. Yep. Okay. From us. All right. Sweet. Famous. Oh, wait, I'm gonna... oh do I not? Ha I don't have any rations. Don't get rations. That's okay. You'll get these guys right quick, lag. Like. Yeah, but I think more might come down. Can't you go into speed mode? What do you mean? Focus. Uh, no. This is an MGS5. <laughs> Get him, what? These guys just don't like dying. Apparently not. They've got bulletproof vests and shit. Please, please die. Please begin to like dying. Um. Well, you don't have that long of a walk back to the beginning of the level. <laughs> I guess it's true. Oh, you ran out of ammo on the FAMAS? Yep. Okay, that guy's dead. That guy's dead. Laser beam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Can you just melee the shit out of him? No. Oh. That would knock him out. Oh shit, you need rations. Yeah, I do. Badly. Oh, damn. I thought there was a long codec call on this elevator thing. Maybe that's when you're going back up. I don't remember. Probably. There's a lot of long codec calls everywhere. Yeah, there is. A lot. Oh, come on! Come on! How the fuck are you supposed to... Jamming, jamming. Who put jamming on radar? Ah, oh. oh, damn it! Damn it, jam it, cram it. Ah, oh, damn it! It's okay. It's it's okay. This game doesn't have lives. I don't think it doesn't. Yeah, it's a modern <sighs> game. Yep. Modern games don't have lives. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh no no like no 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 Oh, senpai, touch me with your chaff grenades. Okay. <laughs> oh. All right, that's enough moaning and groaning for this for this episode. Oh, is it? Are you sure? I don't. I don't know. Oh. No! Stop! Stop! Senpai, please notice me. No! Stop! Oh, oh God! Oh God! Oh, no! Oh! No! No! Senpai. <laughs> Senpai, how dare you? Who's Senpai? Uh, if, uh, it's anime shit. Oh. <laughs> I know Dragon Ball Z. That's pretty much all you need to know. Dragon Balls. Oh, God, I hope more people don't attack me here. There I he hope is. This is. I hope this is just the Kodak call. I really hope that. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please, no. Nope. No. Oh, no. stealth camouflage. Fucking shit, bro. Oh, wait. That was no, a bat. That, oh, that's that's a raven. It's a raven. Raven. 
Oh god. What have you done? You guys know what's coming next. Your mom? <laughs> no, but who's coming next? Vulcan Raven. Who's that? He was the guy who was in the tank earlier. Oh. The tank that I blew up with grenades. I, I did not know that. I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. Who's Naomi Hunter? She was uh, the person at the beginning of the mission who, like, um, she's supposed to be part of your support team. And uh, she, like, knows Gray Fox and stuff. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. So then, yeah. Oh, we've seen her before, right? That's the, yeah. uh, the assistant? Yeah. Yeah. The girl who's not Mei Lin. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're talking about. Okay. The blonde chick. But, yeah. Then, oh, yeah, we're supposed to be. Why would you lie about it? Uh, she lied. It might be a spy. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, okay. shit. Well, yeah. Was he really? Yeah, he was. I didn't know that. Yeah. Hmm. The more you know. I mean, he wanted to blow up Japan for a reason. Oh, okay. I thought it was, like, the normal kind of racist. <laughs> Not racist against Asians. I guess, oh, I guess that was kind of a racist thing going back when. Yeah. I didn't know. Okay, yeah. I thought he was just old-fashioned southern type of racist. No. Not just that. that Not just that, okay. <laughs> nah. Okay. But yeah. So, Miller is telling us that Naomi is working for the terrorists. Oh, cool. She's a double agent. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, just like Paz. Yeah. And Speaking so of history, you, I, w I was, uh, you know the guy from Pawn Stars, the, um... The main bald guy, Rick, I think his name is. I, I recognize you who you're talking Pawn about. Stars. Why would I watch Pawn Stars? I don't know. I don't watch it either. <laughs> but he does this podcast, um, and he talks. And he he does like he gives history lessons basically, and he talked about um, who do you, he talked about Napoleon. He would talk about all these different leaders, how they were like, in actuality, you know, mm -hmm. the real person, not just like he did this and he did that, and it was great. He gave all these great facts about how. Like the, the Napoleon soldiers, mm -hmm. their buttons were made of a, a specific type of tin that when it got super cold, they would snap and like pop and like crack and everything. Yeah. Are we doing an important scene right now? Uh, kind of. It's an introduction to a boss fight. Oh, okay. So I know there. So <laughs> when, they, when they invaded Russia, all their buttons on their, sh on their jackets popped during the Russian winter and they were trying to fight off the Russians while holding their jackets so they wouldn't freeze to death. Right. <laughs> So that was, and that, that that's how they, that's uh, how they, I guess, lost the war against uh, the Russians at some point. Huh. It's pretty crazy. The more you know. Yeah, it's interesting actually. All right, so yeah, here's Vulcan Raven. It's got Shit, a dude. Vulcan cannon. Shit, dude, a minigun. Yeah. That's my that's my favorite gun in uh, Madness Interactive, which they should make a second and third and fourth of that game. Okay. Have you not played that? No. What? You gotta play Madness. That's like I don't even. I've never heard of it. Have you never heard of the Madness series? No. Have you seen the one where, um, really, it's it was a big Newgrounds thing. Um, like one of the more famous ones is Jesus fighting a whole bunch of guys just attacking him. Oh, okay. Hold on. I got nothing, man. Let me find a picture. Okay. Madness, Jesus. So, it's that type of graphics, you know? Yeah, okay, Flash. Flash, yeah, but it's specifically that kind of thing. Yeah. Really? Oh, I'm showing a picture of the, the Madness Interactive Jesus. I gotta show you those games, they're good. And the videos are okay too, but it's, it's more fun to play like the videos, it's cool. But there's an event that I excel at. It's called the Earl Pole. Why, why are things cold down there? Because this is uh, this is the freezer room, I guess. Oh. I don't know. He's um, it's the cold room. He, uh, Vulcan Raven is Inuit, so like. Uh, what does that mean again? Like Eskimo. Oh, okay. <laughs> Isn't that a derogatory term? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Is it? I don't. I don't know. I. 
don't. I, I, maybe. Maybe I'm just an idiot. <laughs> Sorry. We apologize if it's, a, if it's a derogatory term. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know if it is or not. <laughs> Shit. I don't think it is. Okay. It's probably not. <laughs> yeah. Um, Nikita. What yeah. is a Nikita? I'm going to look that up. It's probably going to show for that show that was out in like 2009. Yeah. Nikita. Yeah, it's just that show with the hot Asian. Mm. Wait. Was that? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought oh, it was Margaret Show. <laughs> huh? I thought it said Margaret Show. Never mind. Oh. That's a person. Damn it. Snake is dead.